as the UFC fans, media, and us at UFC Tonight digest the John Jones news, it's important to get a closer look at John Jones, the man. And one of the guys who watched the rise of the former champ and knows him better than most is former training partner in Fox Sports analyst Brian Stan. And uh, Brian, thanks for joining us. You know, on, on a scale of one to ten, how shocked were you with this news? You know, I, I'd love to be able to say I was shocked, but uh, I, I was not. Um, you know, I, I'd say a four or a five on a scale of one to ten, and I think, you know, that just has more to do with uh, the details surrounding it and how it went down. Well, it sounds to me, Brian, obviously you're not shocked, as you just said, but listen, we can't sugarcoat this. Cocaine, DUI, hit and run. What's going on, Brian? How did we get to this point? You know, it's interesting because I, I'd be a liar if I didn't say that during my time training with John, uh, that I didn't witness him be kind and caring and, and, and a person with character and, and, and not do these types of things. I mean, I remember when, when he had the loss to Matt Hamill and it was a, a simple rule break that he wasn't fully understanding of. And he handled that with class and he handled it with character. I remember that, John. But I'll tell you, I was there the first day he stepped foot in that gym. And from day one, people knew there was something unique about him. And immediately, he was a guy who had a lot more to lose than everybody around him. And the leeches and, 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 and the, the people came out that wanted to take something from him early on. So he was dealt with a lot of temptation. And no, we can't sugarcoat this. The fact of the matter is, is he's lucky. He's very lucky. You know, this is the second time he's been involved in an automobile accident where he was not the only one involved. And, and a broken arm is a minor injury. Somebody could have died. Yep. And that's unfixable mistake. And I guess this next question is uh, kind of twofold. What specifically would you like to see from John in the future? And what do you think we'll see from John in the future? Well, you know, specifically what I'd like to see from him is I'd like to see him think more. I'd like for him to stop for a second and think about the consequences of his actions. And, and not only the consequences for himself, but all the people around him and his family that care about him, that love him. Not necessarily all the fans and everything else. Look, he's a professional fighter. We can't expect him to be perfect, you know? But he's got to start thinking about what he does and how he lives his life and how it affects other people. Um, what do I think we'll see from him? Man, you know, I don't know. I think this latest punishment hit him hard where it hurts. It hit his wallet, it hit his legacy, and it took away a belt. That, that he earned, and these are things that he cherished. And so you, you gotta hope that he's feeling remorse right now, that he's not feeling sorry for himself, but he genuinely feels bad about what he's done and realizes what he's done is wrong. And that's what I hope we see from him in the future. Well, well Brian, let's talk about the punishment that the UFC gave him. Are you satisfied with it? Was that, was that the right call? Ah, uh, you know, I was surprised at how quick it came down, to be honest with you. But if you're a person that cares about John and that has seen the possibilities and the snowball effect of some of his extracurricular activities and, and maybe saw this coming at some point, I think you are happy with the punishment because this is the only way for him to really realize that there's a problem and that something needs right. to be fixed. Necessarily think I saw that after the cocaine incident or after the, the DWI you know, I don't know if, if that was really there for him. You know, this, this is massive embarrassment. This is a lot of money he has lost. And he's lost his right to work right now. I mean, he sure. can't go make money indefinitely. So um, if you're a person who cares about John, I think you, you wanted something to happen to him that was so bold and such a statement that it will cause him to reevaluate how he lives his life and make the appropriate changes.